I'm setting up one thing that's very important when you're working hard in your vacation property is you must have lots of dark coffee. I buy a case of this here. I buy a case of this every month and it's gone at the end of the month. So. With that, you have to have some sweetener, and I like the pink stuff. This is this pink stuff. There's a thousand of them in here from uh, Amazon for like eight bucks. And you use two in every one, two as a packet. So, all right. Now this old coffee maker likes to make funky noises and drip a little. So we do that. Let it drip, don't care. Uh, cover off. The creamer, there is no other creamer. The Italian sweet cream is the creamer to use. That uh, is a perfect cup of coffee. And if it's too warm for warm coffee, I use, fill this with ice cubes and do it, and just make it cold. So let's put this back in the fridge. Let's get on with this. Well, what are we fixing today? Today is about a wash machine. We bought a little wash machine for up here. Um, kind of temporary because I'm looking for something a little better. Maybe one of those stack units. You can see, I think I have a link in there. Anyway, we'll get to that. I want to explain why at the cottage we need another wash machine. I'll show you the history of what we've been using. So here we go. So here is the downstairs laundry room slash Facilities, bathroom, shower, and stuff. Yeah, it's the basement, so you get that. But in here is where we have our wash machine. And if we open it up, there is our original wash machine that we used here. So a little history about the place. Uh, the cottage was an actual rickety rackety like one bedroom kind of thing with no plumbing when we bought the place and we used it that way for a few years it was all right but then uh my parents came into some inheritance and they built they put a pre-built on this uh, site so that's where we're at now and when we were in that original one this is the original wash machine this is the power unit Runs on 110. He's got a grounded plug, what do you know? There's a, there's a label on it. Is there our year? I can't see it. Model number is kind of obscured. But one and a half amps. Oh yeah, model number 135.73480. Sears Kenmore. And the way this works, capacity 1.5 pounds dry by weight. There's a timer, which is a mechanical timer. And sometimes works. And when that comes to the end, it shuts the thing off. In the meantime, it turns this into an oscillating back and forth thing. This hooks to one of these. And then this does the oscillating down inside. And after we were looking at rummage sales, we found other ringers. And we even found a modern, modern plastic one that gives you water level. So they must have made these into the plastic here. So that goes like that. I wonder if I can make a turn for you. Let me see. Let's turn on the timer. See if I don't get shot.
So that was your agitation watch action when the timer ended. It stopped. So that was the whole fancy cycle system on this wash machine. We keep it around in case we got I don't know, really disgusting things to wash. But we want to, don't want to put in a good washer. And we'll get to that in a minute. Inside, besides the dust, because you can see it hasn't been used in a while, it's just a canning kettle, really, an aluminum canning kettle. But there's a drain, which is awesome, the awesome drain. All right. So that was our generation one. And we keep it here because we keep it here. Um, you can see we have an actual dryer, electric dryer, which is from the 70s probably. We probably picked it up on the street for free. And we got the really safe version of the uh, lit dryer thing going up and over. Where are you? There you are. Over to share with the bathroom vent and out, which is better than last summer. It was just blowing, blowing into the room here, heating up the room. So now it at least blows outside. Anyway, the real wash machine that we use now is there. Yes. Oh, I forgot to show you. We do have a spin system. This is the, this goes on the little when, you, when you're done with your load, you put this on your tub here and then you crank it and then you squeeze the water out. So we graduated from that to something else free my dad found on the side of the road. And that's a 1940s probably wash machine, 50s. This one is a, my wife has used this many times. This has been the actual wash machine. I think you do this to kick it in wash gear and this to put it in pump, which I don't understand because I think you have to drain it manually. But this also has a mechanical timer. And it dings when it's done. Oh, pump probably means that it turns on the ringer. This is the ringer. You go like that. Let's see. Let's do that again. This is the ringer. If you put something too big in there, if you put your hand in there, it'll probably smash your hand. But the wash kind of goes through there and the water runs back down into the tub. Um, if you get your hand stuck in there, you're supposed to jam that, and that takes the pressure off. Uh, here you can set how tight you want it. There's the wash stuff. And there's a drain in the bottom down there. It is so awesome that my wife won't use it unless she has to. So she wanted something a little bit different, but we didn't want to buy... A full up wash machine um, to get used, you know, half a dozen times a year. That's the problem. That's why we still use that. So, with that said, why don't we go upstairs and see what she bought? Because I haven't opened the box yet. I'm a little afraid. A few moments later. So, this is the wash machine. That my wife has bought. There's a model number, a SKU number. I believe this is on Amazon. I'll get you a link. Uh, we'll see where it came from.
I always use the proper tool for the job. Proper tool here is anything sharp. All right. With some foam and some plastic. And let's see. More foam. I guess more foam. No foam there. Something there. Hose, maybe. All right. So now we gotta. Get this out of there. So here's the wash machine. The hose coming out and it goes that far. So it must just drain onto the floor. which is not ideal. Water inlet. See, I don't have any holes. A hose down in the washer, maybe? We got a filter. So we got a place to wash. We got a, oh, here's a hose. Really? That's the water inlet hose. Oh my God. Here's what it's all about. Well, I'm gonna have to read this and get back to you. Well, as you can see, um, no. <laughs> Remember that uh, round little one that sits on the counter and from the uh, 30s or 40s that we have in the basement? Well. This is the 2021 version of that. Instead of the ringer that you crank, it has a spinner. Other than that, you have to pour water in with a bucket or with that goofy hose. Uh, there's no water valves. There's no pump. That hose on the side, you drop on the floor and let the water go on the floor. Um, so it's exactly like that little one, except this doesn't take a pound and a half of laundry. This takes a pound of laundry, I think instead of a pound and a half. The other one takes a pound and a half. So the other one is bigger. It'll actually sit up on the sink. And uh, so, you know what? This is going back. This is a thumbs down. Do not recommend. Do not get, go to a rummage sale, find an old ringer. It works better than this. I didn't even make this wet. I didn't plug it in. I didn't peel off the sticky film back in the box. Thank you, Amazon, but no thank you. Well, since I gave up on that, I decided I'm going to use this one. Bring it upstairs. Get to see kind of how it works. What I've already done is Put some water in it. I have it sitting so that this is over here so that when I want to drain it, I can drain it right in the sink. When I want to do a rinse, I'm just going to plug the sink and rinse. And then here's the soap. And then I have the ringer here as well. So let's wash a load. Look at that.
All right, so there's that. Let's see how much we can put in here. Now, another wash machine says it holds 13 pounds, but I'm almost certain that includes the water. This one says it will hold a pound and a half, and I am certain that that does not include the water. So, let's see. One of my big ass t-shirts. Two of my big ass t-shirts. Three. Four. Yeah, I'm add some more water. So there's that. Uh, soap. For sure. Okay, if that's up, I want to get to fifteen. Right there. All right. Now we let it wash for 15 minutes. I think I'll probably speed this up. Well, 15 minutes are up. Smells like it's overworked. Timer's still going, but it's just done. There we go. Let's take this off. It's warm. It's kind of stuck in there. Let's look down in there. Okay. Well, there's dirt. All right. Let's, uh, what can I do with you? This is too dirty to wash anything else, so let's do a drain. Just making sure there's nothing plugging up the hole. Looks like we could just dump it. And it's just low. One more. As flat as possible.
guess so. I could use another rinsing, but it's just my clothes. Well, thanks for watching. Got to see me wash clothes with a ringer washer. That's my video for today. Thanks for watching. You know, maybe I'll save you from having to buy this and send it back because. <clears throat> um, go find somebody to run for sale. Bad news. All right. Thank you, China. No, thank you. See you later. Have fun. Send me a like if this helped you out. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.